Biodiesel, is that you? Yeah, hey! Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. It's just, I'm kind of having an inner conflict right now. What about? Well, I don't know if I should talk to you about it. No, come on, just, just tell me. It's okay, just tell me. Well, we've been friends for a while, right, Diesel? Yeah. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I don't think we can hang out anymore. What? Why not? We just have different values, different properties, different intermolecular forces, different boiling points, different... And... what's wrong with that? See what I mean? You don't even care. What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Let's just go back to my place and talk about this. Fine, I'll follow you there. Okay, just say what you want to say. Okay. I'm just going to lay it all out. I'm more efficient than you. I have a higher boiling point. How's that? You see, the bonds between your molecules are from Van der Waals forces, which come from induced dipole moments. And mine aren't just induced. You see, I have electronegative oxygen in my structure, which causes me to have dipole-dipole interactions. Dipole-dipole interactions are stronger because they're polar. Don't you see? I'm, I'm more polar than you. No, no, I don't see. What do you mean, polar? What I mean is, the slightly negative ends of my molecules are attracted to the slightly positive ends of the other molecules, causing them to stick together. Okay, but what do intermolecular forces have to do with boiling point? Well, the stronger the intermolecular forces, the more energy it takes to break the bonds between the molecules, and the hotter it has to be to reach boiling point. Basically, I can keep my cool when you can't. Uh, I, I can keep my cool? Yeah, to a certain point, but after a while you just vaporize. Hey baby, what's up? Uh, Manpar, oh. what are you doing here? This is awkward, uh... Well, it, it's not you, Diesel. It, it, well, it is you. You see, biodiesel is just better for my performance, and she cares about the environment. Plus, she has the O's that I've always been looking for. Is this true? Yeah, I always have O's. And half the time, they're double bonded. Trust me, they do wonders for my performance. <laughs> I wish I had O's. And... But... I, I do get the job done. Right. But Biodiesel gets the job done too. But she just does it better. I'm sorry, Diesel. I didn't want our friendship to end this way. Whatever. You can steal my boy car friend, but good luck trying to steal my market. I cost less and everybody likes me, so there. Goodbye. Guys. Oh, man. Oh, Seriously? Man. High fives. Yeah. Cool. High fives. Yeah. Slap yeah. hands, Karen. Good Slap job. hands. Cool. Cool. Ooh, let's shake it out. Shake it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, I am so glad that's over. Right, guys? Yeah. Howdy, folks. I'm Robert the Robot. They did a great job talking about Van der Waals and dipole-dipole interactions. But they forgot to talk about the strongest intramolecular force. Hydrogen bonding. Let's see how this works by exploring deep into the cells of Karen and seeing how DNA bases come together. Hey, good morning. What's up, man? Man, I, I'm just bored. I, I don't have anyone to bond to. Yo, man, I'm here. You can't satisfy me in that way. We're just not compatible. But we're so similar! But that's the point. Hey, let's call thymine and cytosine. 
Dog, Purines before Pyrimidines, you know how I feel about that? I know, wait, let's just try it out, alright? Dude, there's so many others that we can call right now. I know, I, I can't even find them in here, there's just too many numbers. Wait. Dog, dog. Oh, no, 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 dog, I, I got it, I got dog, it, dude. here's what I mean. Alright, fine. Oh my god, it's Guanine. Hello? Hey Thymine, it's Guanine. Oh hey, what's up? I was just wondering if you want to get together sometime, say at my place? Oh yeah, that's perfect, I'm excited to see him right now. Can't believe you invited him over. Hold on one sec, hold on, hold on. Dude, arguing here. Hey Thymine! Hey Guanine! Cytosine! Hey Guanine, what's up? Nothing, just hanging out. That's uh, my friend Adenine way over there. Hey, dude. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's this paper going? Alright. Okay. 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 What classes are you in? Yeah. No. What class are you taking? I mean, because I'm taking some classes right now that are really Taking some stuff. Just some stuff. What about chemistry? Are you taking chemistry again? Yeah, it's kind of boring. I don't know. You don't like how she's English, French. She's pretty funny, but she talks a lot. She's pretty cool, you know. Hey, sizing, thyming. We'll be right back. Just give us a second. Anyway, about English, French. All right, Thymy and I have horrible chemistry. I told you so, dude. I freaking I told you so. I know you did. I know. <laughs> Yo, dude, like, we should just straight up kick him out. No. Hey, you guys. Like, oh, snap. I think we're gonna go, but yeah, it was know. nice yeah. seeing you. Yeah. Actually, wait. Did you want to study with me for chemistry later? I mean, we have that big O-Chem final coming up. What the, what? Speaking of Ochem, oh can you help God. me too? I would, I, I would love to help you with Ochem. Let's go. Adenine and guanine fell victim to the uncontrollable intermolecular forces of hydrogen bonding. Well, that was a fun scene. Fun? Don't you mean fun? No, I mean fun, because... Hydrogen bonding happens when a hydrogen is bonded to an electronegative atom, such as a fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen, F-O-N. Oh. Right. So hydrogen bonding is a specific type of dipole-dipole interaction. The, pre the previous scene showed one example of hydrogen bonding, but it doesn't just happen in DNA. It happens in many places, including water. Well, I hope you found this video fun and informative, and you learned a little bit about varying strengths of intermolecular forces. And remember, kids, chemistry is everywhere.